one more thing that you could basically consider especially when looking out for uh, trading on crude is the fact that you kind of also watch out how the global indices are performing so when i say global indices like what i refer to is especially the us 30 or the dow jones 30 so as i mentioned since crude is considered as a uh, what is a angel commodity so when does the price of crude go up the so price of crude actually moves up when there is prosperity around the world when there is development happening right when good things happen that is when the price of crude oil actually moves up so if the global economy is performing good that is uh, dow jones is picking up dow jones is actually showing some really good uh, upside sentiment that means that is a sign of prosperity so if that is happening then definitely there is a better possibility for crude oil also to move up right so then there is a better possibility for crude oil to kind of pick up while let's talk about a case where dow is kind of falling down like anything dow is actually having a pretty much big drop so what does that say so that kind of tells okay uh, the economy is could be kind of not doing good price could be falling down a company is a kind of a people have a bad uh, outlook on companies like uh, people investors traders everybody has a bad outlook on the companies and dow jones index is also falling then possibly yeah crude oil too could fall in value so just realize for yourself tracking the global indices is also something that you could uh, consider alongside all these data when it comes to uh, trading in crude so as of now the global indices are, are performing uh, good meaning it is up okay so let's see what happens here after now on our uh, community too, there's a lot of discussions happening today. Okay, there is a lot of discussions happening today. And uh, one interesting discussion that I just, that caught my mind is right, uh, my mind right now is the fact that people were asking like, what could usually happen? That what could possibly happen if the price uh, of, uh, sorry, if the US dollar actually appreciates in value, okay. So if US dollar actually appreciates in value, what could possibly happen? So that was a question. So the answer is yes. Uh, see most as we see in the international markets. I'll just show you the question also. This is one pretty much common that people have. Uh, when dollar is falling, crude is rising or when dollar is rising in value, meaning dollar is appreciating. You see that the commodities price usually drop down. Okay, I'll tell you why. Uh, see, when you basically check out this, you realize that it is priced in US dollar, right? So let's assume that earlier, if I paid $1, I used to get uh, one chocolate. I get one chocolate when I pay one US dollar. Now let's say that US dollar has appreciated like anything. Okay, so US dollar has appreciated like anything. US dollar has appreciated by almost let's say 100 percentage for easy understanding. So now if I pay the same one dollar, what happened? How many chocolates will I get? Obviously, now if I pay the same one dollar, I'll be getting two chocolates. Or I can say earlier, if the price of one chocolate was one dollar, now the price of one chocolate is just uh, 0.5 dollar, right? So US dollar, if US dollar actually appreciates, then definitely the price of commodity is going to come down since all commodities are priced in US dollar itself now internationally. So I hope you get the logic. Now let's see how uh, the setup basically plays out. Now you can actually track this uh, inventory data uh, moves uh, for the prehistoric data. Every Wednesday you can see, you can, uh, if you're using investing.com, then one easy thing is you can actually click on the news so news itself will tell you what was the uh, oil inventory then you can uh, so when we checked out that oilprice.com right you can also google uh, oilprice.com crude inventory data api in the morning date you can mention last wednesday's date then uh, after some time you can check out crude oil inventory data oilprice.com EIA data the date you can mention so all the values you get so you yourself actually prepare a, a report and try to figure out what could have possibly happened with uh, crude oil with these uh, coming data okay now once again like no trading system is foolproof and that is the exact reason why we personally use these particular systems alongside price action in order to get the 
best results so i also request you to do the same okay so i also request you to do the same uh, however like it is very good that you analyze using this because you have uh, i can assure you that you kind of know fundamentals of crude almost more than any single person trading the indian markets okay so i'm pretty much grateful uh, for the companies that i have worked with as a crude trader that has kind of helped me understand a lot about the fundamentals okay now let's see what happens at tape so i'm uh, basically leaving for a quick coffee now